what's going on everyone so tattoo chef does have earnings tomorrow on the 8th of august what are we looking for what to expect and what do i see technically going on with the stock that i think could be a little bit bullish um for those of you guys who have been holding tattoo chef for some of you guys who follow you know the much much bigger youtuber who you know advocates for this stock you know uh, my heart goes out to you just for a couple of reasons. It's been a tough, tough last 12 months, you know, especially for a lot of the high growth and, and speculation names and smaller cap names. Um, you know, the, the, the only thing you could have really done is average down your position a little bit. But, you know, times are hard. People don't have a lot of money to invest. You're kind of waiting for better days. People tell you to average down. The stock goes lower and lower and lower. That's the one thing different the, from how I analyze a stock and look at it i'm going to look at everything from a technical basis so the numbers the earnings and everything of course they're going to sway and do things with the stock but as long as the company is not going bankrupt we can kind of get a good gauge of where the stock can potentially go just by looking at a technical analysis point of view here so a lot of things that you know could have been changed prior for the future we, we could definitely kind of nip those problems in the butt so just think about it like this anytime a stock loses its 50-day moving average is extremely extremely bearish for the short-term sentiment rise uh so you know if you do if you are in a stock and you're in a new position right Let, like let's say for example you have not had this position for three four five six seven eight years where your average price is at the floor and you know we're trading way higher right if you're getting into a new play and it recently loses its 50-day moving average that's an time to you know do one of two things hedge your position short right meaning by taking some outdated uh put options on that particular stock and kind of holding them six months 12 months down the road until we reclaim that 50-day moving average or until you feel comfortable taking profits or you just exit your position and you kind of wait for better days that's besides the point let's talk about what exactly is going on right now with tattoo chef one thing that i do like here that you're going to see just visually, right? Disregard all of the lines on my chart here and kind of just look at what's been going on here since November, December of 2021. We can look here, a big downturn, sideways consolidation, big downturn. And now what do we have here realistically for the past two months? And I kind of want you guys to do something. Go look at a stock like I just did a recap on AMC. Um, I did a recap on FUBU. I did a recap on SoFi. Go take a look at some of those stocks. All of them are gonna kind of look the same. We've been in severe 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 pain for the past 12 months on these stocks some of them longer right since the beginning of 2021 since you know the fall from grace but what i do like that i'm seeing now on a lot of these names is we're not putting in new lows okay that's the first step to either a finding its new range or coming off the bottom and starting to work its way back up this is extremely bullish right now obviously if we were to go back a month you know it's still too early to tell even now could still be too early to tell but one thing that i do like is that tattooed chef broke this short-term downtrend if we can look at the most recent highs in the past two months that was around seven dollars and sixty seven dollars and around 66 cents and we currently are trading at seven dollars and 64 cents but we were as high as 769 right we have gotten over this 50-day moving average and not just broken it and lost it, but we've been trading over the 50-day moving average now for three days. And this big gap up here has now put us into an upper channel. So our new price target on a stock like Tattoo Chef is gonna be $8.17, which is gonna be the 100 EMA as well as the 100 simple moving average. But one thing that I do kinda of wanna point out here, and this is gonna be our next supply zone that I really want everyone to focus on here, especially coming into earnings, over eight dollars and 75 cents has room to stretch to around 950 that is going to put us at the 150 simple moving average now again the 200 day moving average is still the granddaddy of them all that price is sitting at around 1150 if you kind of look at here what that's correlating to is all of this support that we had right so anytime you have significant support and this support lasted between january all the way here until we really lost it uh, in around four seven. So this is a three month support before broken. I do expect that if we do get up to that $11.50 range, this is gonna act as a significant, a significant level of resistance. I do not think that we blow through 11.50 and come all the way back up to 15, 16, 17, but this is for another video on another day. What we wanna focus on right now is baby steps. That next price target that we're targeting is going to be that $8 in, in, in some change range. And then we do need to get over this here. If we look here and go to your charts and kind of look at 
426 and look at 54. You can see here it rejected one time, rejected two times before that next leg down. So what happens when a previous area acts as rejection and we come up to it again? It could act as another area of rejection, right? So what we're actually looking at here Heading into earnings, anything over Friday's highs of around $7.71, right? Anything over that has an immediate run up to $8.15, okay? Any daily close over $8.17 in that area has an immediate run up to $8.76. That's almost a dollar move on a very, very small stock. So if you're a short-term swing trader or you're a, an intraday day trader and you're able to catch a dollar move on a $7 stock, it's absolutely fantastic. Think about 1,000 shares in, $1,000 out in a matter of a few days, especially if this earnings uh, report and call comes in and we get that momentum and volume behind it, right? Now, if you want to hold over $8.76, your next price target is $9.71. Anything over $9.71, room to $10.70. Anything over $10.70, room to $11.50. And at least there, I would think about taking some decent sized profits. Now, that doesn't mean closing 90% of your position, but take 20, 30, 40, 50% off of the table. If you want to average down on another downturn and kind of continue to dollar cost average over the next two to three years, that's entirely possible. If you have a three to five year outlook on the stock, then maybe you don't want to take profits at $8 and maybe you don't want to take profits at nine, but maybe you want to wait till 11. Maybe you want to wait till 15. But what I'm saying here is as long as we hold $5.84, this stock is an absolute hold continue to get in on the ground floor here you can see this ground floor being laid here think about this as a as a new foundation for you know a new apartment complex or a new skyscraper right you can't just go straight up you got to lay the foundation lay the concrete you got to get that foundation nice and strong here so we have something to fall back on anything under five dollars and 84 cents all bets are off to the long side hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to like comment and subscribe if you guys are interested in learning how to day trade options join my discord that link is down in the description box below i'd be happy to work with you guys and i'll see you guys all in the next time